Hey guys, Dan Carr here from Shuttermuse.com. Today we're taking a look at the Lowepro PhotoStream RL150. Now this is a rolling camera bag designed for airline travel, and there's a couple of key features that kind of define its placement within Lowepro's overall lineup. So the first of those is that it is extremely lightweight. It's only about eight pounds, which for a roller bag is actually not very heavy at all. So they've used some really lightweight materials and they've also cut down on the features, which also has an effect on the price, a positive effect, I should say. Um, for a roller bag, it's pretty well priced. So I think the retail, suggested retail price is 250 US dollars, but I've definitely seen this uh, in places like B&H Photo and Amazon for $200. So that puts it significantly lower price point than some of its competitors from people like Think Tank Photo. So it's a lightweight roller, it's well priced, and it's sized to be fairly small. So we've got about a seven and a half, eight inch depth on the bag here. It's not quite as small as maybe some commuter jet um, carry-on allowances are, but for all other airline and, uh, sorry, all other national and international travel regulations, this is gonna fit. Um, as you can see, I'll just give it a quick spin around. It has a very sort of minimalistic, sleek design to it. I actually think it's great. I think this is one of Low Pro's um, better looking bags. I think actually in the last few years, they've really stepped up their game uh, in terms of the external design and the looks of their bags. Um, the Pro Roller series is their higher end roller bag series. And this definitely looks a, not a lot nicer than that. Um, we have an EVA molded front panel here which has these grooves in it, which actually has an interesting feature. Um, this actually allows you to fold down this top section here, just at this break point, and get access to your laptop, which is good when you're going through the TSA checkpoints. Um, potentially, you just need to pull the laptop out really quickly. So uh, we'll get to the inside of the bag in a second, but I just wanted to show you that. And I'll give you the rest of the tour on the outside. Um, like I said, pretty minimalist, just a small handle on this side and a handle on the top as well. So these are not thickly padded. It's all about weight savings to get this uh, bag down to a really lightweight. On the side here, we have a couple of straps for putting a tripod on. What you'll notice is missing if you're familiar with general roller bag design, uh, in fact, most photo backpacks as well, is some kind of pocket to put the feet of the tripod in. So, Given that tripods and light stands, things like that, have cylindrical legs on them, it's actually really hard to tighten down side straps like this to the point where the thing isn't gonna shift up and down at all. So it's always nice to have that little elasticated pocket at the bottom there, and the feet go in there, which means the tripod can't drop down. So this is, uh, I think, one of the, the biggest negative points in the design of this bag is the lack of this little pocket here. I know they're gonna say it was for weight saving, but I think that's just a step too far there. Uh, I feel like that's gonna be a pain in the ass sometimes. Like you're not gonna be able to tighten up the tripod uh, tight enough to stop it um, dropping down a little bit. You know, as you're rolling along the floor, you're going over the, some bumps on the ground, the tripod is gonna work its way down until it starts bumping on the ground. So I wish they had put a pocket on the side here which is pretty standard featured, really. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, on the back here, little spot for your business card, uh, contact details. Um, on the bottom, it's kind of rubberized area around here for protection, which is really nice. The wheels are great. The wheels and this kind of um, section of the bag is actually the same as the much higher priced Pro Roller series. So the wheels feel great, actually. You can't really fault that. Um, there's another grab handle on the bottom there, which sort of acts as the kickstand as well. Um, that's pretty solid. So overall, from the exterior side of things, they've kept it uh, slim and sleek and functional. And uh, yeah, like I said, I think it looks great. I really like this uh, front panel design here. So let's take a look inside the bag. Okay. So, a few things we need to talk about here. I showed you the laptop pocket before. Um, that will take up to a 15 inch laptop, so that's great. We have two mesh zippered pockets uh, here. I actually really like these mesh pockets. Some bags have that clear plastic, 
um, and I don't feel that's necessary really and sometimes that plastic gets kind of dirty and foggy over time. So I like the mesh pockets, again it keeps the weight down as well, so that's great. Um, inside this main section we have a few things to be aware of. Um, there is a lump at the top here which is um, the result of having the handle, the extended handle, on the back here. So what it means is that, you'll see I have my camera body this way around, some rollers you put the camera at the top here. Uh, you can only do that with a mirrorless camera in this photo stream roller because there is this bump where the handle is hidden and so a regular sized DSLR body will not fit at this top section, you have to put it down the bottom instead. Not really a big deal, but when you look at this and some of the photos of it online, that's the reason for it being that way around. Um, if you want to have a pro-sized body, so one with a battery grip or something like a 1DX or a Nikon D5, so those taller bodies, they will fit, but you have to take the lens off. So actually the uh, Low Pro website has this information incorrect, um, so I'm setting the record straight here. If you want a pro body, you cannot have a lens attached because a pro body has to go either in the middle here or it has to go down the side. So either one of these sides. What you'll see, if I just take this camera out, hopefully you can see a little ways into the bag, and you can see there are these two channels which are again the result of having this telescoping handle. So the two arms of the handle are running down these channels and it means that there's this raised section where you can't actually put some items. So um, a pro body has to fit either side of that, which means you can stick it in the middle or you can stick it down the sides here. But you can't have it at the end here because it'll cross over these two bars and then that means it lifts the camera up above the level of the lid. And you can't put it at the top here because we've got this big lump from the, the actual handle part itself. So yes, you can use a pro body, but no, you cannot have a lens attached if you're using a pro body. Now, if you have multiple pro bodies, you can fit them. You can have one on each side. Uh, I think you could probably fit one in the middle as well. So you could have, you know, three pro bodies. You just can't have a lens attached. So keep that in mind. Um, this was a Canon 7D with a 100 or 400 on it. So just, I wanted to put this in for sort of size reference. That's the same size as a 70 to 200 as well, which is kind of a universally understood lens sizing. So that gives you some sort of guidance as to how big this is. Um, you can get about eight more lenses in here and a couple of camera bodies and a flash and a battery charger, stuff like that. So that's the kind of size that we're working with. Um, in terms of other features, the bag comes with two, um, two different kinds of dividers here. So this one with the orange top on it uh, is sort of extra stiff. So that is to go in front of the lens when you put that in the bag and also just to give some more um, stability in the middle between these two vertical sections. Uh, the other thing that they've included is a divider which sort of opens up to become a little pocket as well. Uh, something we've seen before from Low Pro, a really neat idea, great for storing a spare battery or some AA batteries for your flash. So that's great. As you can see, a ton more dividers, um, really good uh, larger dividers as well, lots of options for organizing this. Again, probably uh, one of the better designed rollers from Low Pro that I've seen. So this is actually a really cool bag and to hit that $200 price point or around that kind of price point, um, is pretty impressive actually. You know, if you think that you can fit your gear in here, um, then you should definitely take a look at this bag if airline travel is something that's on your mind. Now, one thing I should note is that with this seven and a half inch internal depth here, it's still a little bit on uh, the shallow side compared to some other larger, more expensive rollers, like the Pro Rollers from Low Pro or some of Think Tank Photo's other roller bags. So if you have big super telephoto lenses that have, um, you know, those big hoods on them, so a 300, 28, 400, 28, 500 F4, 200 to 400, things like that, those are gonna struggle to fit in this bag, especially with these channels in there, which causes a, a lack of depth. So it's seven and a half inches of the deep section, but you definitely don't get that depth all the way across the bag. So it is designed to be extremely travel friendly. This isn't gonna push up against many limits for airlines. This is designed to get you through without having to worry about it, without having to stress about it. So um, the result of that is that it is a pretty shallow bag the dimensions are definitely not as big as you'll find. So if really maximizing gear volume is what you're looking for, 
Potentially, you're going to want to go for a bigger roller, something that's a bit more expensive. But if you want something quick and lightweight, and frankly, something that looks great too, you know, if you're going to travel to corporate photography gigs, uh, some wedding stuff, this is going to really um, give a professional look as well. So I think that's great. And um, yeah, Lopru did a really nice job with this bag. I'm quite surprised by the price point they hit with it. Um, yeah, good job, Lopro. This was the PhotoStream RL150. I'm going to do a review on the website as well, so check out the link in the description below. You'll see plenty more photos. And if you enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'll have plenty more like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.